how to get your Google AdSense account approved in 2025. In this video session, I'm going to show you critical aspects of Google AdSense application. Now, if you've submitted your application to use Google AdSense and you received an email saying, after reviewing your application, our specialists have found that it does not meet our program criteria. And you're looking at the criteria and you're thinking, you know what? It should have met the criteria. So why in the world does Google AdSense disapprove my application? Here's why. First, you grab your website address, go to Google, and use site operator search. Simply use site colon and your website address. And look at what Google shows you here. Because if your AdSense account application is disapproved, it may be the case that Google search engine may have picked up unimportant parts of a website. Especially if you designed your website using pre-built themes or dummy content and so on. Using the site operator, simply look at what Google knows about your website. Yeah. If it has dummy content, then you need to log in to your website and delete those content. Another absolutely important part of using Google AdSense in 2025 is your privacy policy. Because of the fact that your AdSense is, will show personalized ads to your website visitors. And if you're missing a thorough privacy policy, telling your website visitors in terms of the ads that you're running or the cookies that you're using and so on. So when the account is disapproved, it's because the team behind AdSense may have looked at your privacy policy. It has to be clearly defined so that website visitors can find it. Now, apart from that, original content. But in terms of Google search engine, original content may not be what you're thinking. Let's imagine your images. You can right click and search with Google Lens. And that image, if found elsewhere, although it's okay, usually for most websites using someone else's image, that could cause disapproval of your AdSense application. That means when you look at your website, don't just th think that text is original or the requirements for AdSense is just text only, but rather everything on your website will be evaluated for your application. That includes images as well. Now that could be tricky if you have an affiliated type of website but nonetheless, what you want, especially the home page, you want to make it as original as possible. That includes images as well. Furthermore, your contact information must be clearly visible to the website visitor. Because if your AdSense is disapproved, this may be another element for disapproval. Just imagine someone running into an issue using your website or they want to contact you. You don't have to have your address, but nonetheless, whether it's email or a web form, allowing your website visitors to contact you will assist in getting your AdSense approved in 2025. Also, in your Google AdSense account, you have European regulations, or different regulations. That means you should thoroughly have a cookie policy and clearly define as to what it is that you're doing on your website 
in terms of serving ads now you can accomplish that using plugins cookie banner pop-ups many content management systems allow you to use such things for free also your ads.txt file should be available on your website furthermore if you're using dub 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 in the url then that ad, ads.txt file should be accessible and throughout your website make sure the linking structure is you know doesn't have discrepancies such as dub 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 or non dub 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 and also you have to use https on your website to get approved this is very important too in 2025 so if you're using let's say blogger or different uh, parts of google then trying to get approved through the options on blogger or youtube instead of trying to get approved from google adsense account because things change a little bit in terms of policies and settings so let me wrap it up quick and easy if you've applied for google adsense and you've got an email saying you know what your application wasn't successful and you're thinking well why is that as i've said search google to see what does google know about your website if it has empty pages or dummy content then remove those pages from your website before you reapply then make sure that navigation is straightforward is an easy to find your contact information is easy to find and whatever you do you have to have privacy policy clearly visible on your website also having cookie policy is also important in 2025 because of the way google is making changes as i've said you can use banners plugins pop-ups to inform website visitors as to your using cookies in your privacy policy you're saying to them you know what we use personalized ads and so on because google adsense team will look at these things and if you're using youtube or blogger to get approved use the settings from there another critical aspect original useful content is not just text it's images videos pdfs and so on make sure ads.txt file can be accessed through your domain let's imagine you're using dub 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 and let's imagine you've added the the domain to adsense ads.txt file shouldn't have issues such as redirection that means google should be able to access this without dub 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 so if you've applied and you understand the policies and you got disapproved these are the issues that you need to fix and then reapply to get your google adsense application approved i thank you for learning with rankia and i'll talk with you in the next video session